Yeah. Hello there, welcome back to another Tekken episode. So, um, since last time I left off, I've done quite a lot of renovating and a little bit of mining. Um, did have some recording problems. Oh, and that was... Okay, I don't know what that was. Right, um... But yeah, I've done, done a lot of renovating and stuff. Um, just, just just general Minecraft things. I've got a little farm there with some chickens in. Uh, let's go have a look in a second. I do want to explain this, this chest here is what you call a copper chest which is these copper bars so it's copper ore which I'll place down so you can see what it looks like um, it's this so it's like a brownie iron and um, you just smelt that like you would most other ores so in the in furnace with some coal and you will get oh, from the chest, these copper bars and then to make the copper chest what you do is, I don't have any wood on me, but you would put a piece of, well, a chest, sorry, a normal, normal chest in the middle with copper around the outside, and that would make the, the copper chest. And this has nearly as much space as a double wooden chest. It's just the one line off. So it's, um, it's really good for space, plus, as, as you can see, you can place it next to other chests. Um, I'm not sure if you can place it next to other copper chests, so I'll have to look at that in some other time but that's it's really useful and you can upgrade those further but I don't have enough materials to do so oh yeah I've got the um, bed as well and I don't think I had the furnace last time I'm not sure but you know as I said, it's just general minecraft stuff most of this um, to be decoration and uh, thing I um, lit up most of the area I did a bit of the a, a bit of wandering just to look around the area because this mountain biome is just really cool um, Come over here to my little uh, little chicken farm. There you go. It's just some chickens. Um, basically, basically most of the, um, the farming stuff I've done is just for food sources, like um, just breeding some of these. So I've got some uh, chickens to save for food later on. Yeah, you can be eaten. <laughs> um, yeah, but <laughs> then I just put some uh, the chicken supplies in there, and then I've got the Final part of the farm over here, which is the natural stuff. So um, I have covered over a few holes, and there's been so many landmines while doing this from freaking creepers. But this is just my little uh, wheat and flax, and basically oh, wheat's grown. Um, basically, you get the the flax the same way as you get the wheat seeds. So when you go around and punch like grass and stuff. Uh, so I don't, I don't think there's any around here to punch most of it out already. But the little tall grass that you get on the the, uh, the normal grass box, and you just punch them out, and you get either normal seeds and flax seeds, and you plant them in exactly the same way as you would with normal stuff. So you, you use the hoe on the wall, the uh, ground to till it, and then place the seed. Um, these will only be placed when the ground is this this colour. Um, rather than when you till it and it's light light grey, you can still place the wheat, I believe. Um, but you cannot place the flax on that colour. Um, but yeah, I've just got a load of saplings here for the trees over to the left, as you can see. Some seeds for both of them. Now, the, the flax here gives string, so it's a um, way of getting string quite easily on peaceful, which is kind of a neat feature. And then obviously the wheat from the, uh, the wheat. Oh, another one's grown! <gasps> uh, wheat. Um, I'm not sure if I've got a seed from that one. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Um, I thought you always got a seed. Maybe, maybe not. Um, strange. Anyway, um, moving on swiftly. What else have I got? I got this tree farm. It's just fenced off in the normal, normal fence manner. And as I say, it's just typical Minecraft stuff. I've done a lot of tree cutting. Um, these are just fence gates that you can find in vanilla, which is the same way as you make a fence with two pieces of wood in the middle. Um, I will cut these trees down, but I'll do that when I'm not not online, because it's just boring and tedious. So anyway, um, oh yeah, I've got I've got a bit of iron armor, um, just just so I look like a tank. Yeah, tank man. Um, yeah, I think that is all of it. Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to plan on doing with this area is just make it into some sort of like 
large sort of community type area. So it'd be um, you know a bunch of bunch of like little houses and little living spaces, maybe in the mountains like this one, but sort of big houses inside the mountains. That'd be kind of cool. And um, then obviously like a bunch of like agricultural stuff and maybe some like factory or something. Um, when I get a bit onto when I get a bit in the uh, with the build craft and everything, try and make some sort of factory things. Um, but yeah, this I think this episode I'm going to go and try do a bit of exploring, and I'm also going to make something quickly if I have materials. I don't think I have I don't have any redstone, so I can't make a tier two. But basically, it's called a divining rod. Um, so this this oh if it maybe maybe it's not I I typed in diving I'm an idiot. This thing here, divining rod. So oh. <laughs> I'm in the wrong mode. Let me just change that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Okay, click on this. There you go. There you go. Right, so divining rod made with covalence dust and sticks. So the covalence dust is charcoal and cobblestone. And then it makes this 40 covalence dust and then you put the covalence dust around a stick. And what the divining rod does is... Um, it registers the EMC value, which is something to do with the equivalent exchange. You like right click on a block, say there, and I was right if I was right click on there with a tier one divining rod, which is what I'm gonna make, it would tell me in those those three blocks or those nine blocks, sorry, it's a it's a three by three in front of you. And it would tell you the highest EMC value of one of those blocks. And stone is one EMC, which is um I'm not sure what EMC stands for actually. I think it's equivalent something or other. I don't know. Um, but it's basically like a value of blocks. So like, see here, clay's got EMC at 16, uh, wool is 48, crafting table 32. There you go. So you can like, later on in the game, you can make stuff with EMC. So you can make an EMC generator, which is uh, making EMC for you so you can create items out of it. And... I don't know, equivalent exchange is a bit cheaty in that sort of sense, but it's it's very handy for when you're doing like a late game sort of stuff. So when you're making all these massive build craft machines and things and, and you just don't have to, can't be bothered or don't have the time to go and mine everything, you can just make like this EMC generator. And why do I have a gravel on me? Um that's kind of okay. Right, anyway. So let's make this this thing. I don't know if I have any charcoal actually. Um I don't, that's a bit awkward. Right, I'll get this coal, and I'll get some stone out here, and then I'll go and nab the wood from over here, in my convenient little, uh, my little tree farm, and the massive fell off tree in the middle. Um, oh yes, yeah, over here. Right, so, just grab one of these, and I only need the one, I shall grab, I'll just grab eight, because I don't like wasting coal. Okay, um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to grab this, and it's not going to help too much until we upgrade it more, because um, when you upgrade it, instead of giving just a 3x3, three three, you get a 3x3x, three by, three by, I think it's 9, or no, 16 is the first one, I'm pretty sure, and then I think the, the second one is uh, 64, so I'll register this 3x3 three three here, and then back in that direction as well, so directly in front of me by 16 blocks. And it will also keep doing the three by three each time. Um, so it's a massive rectangle, and the the highest tier is just like insane. I think I'm pretty sure it's like 64 blocks that it registers. Um, but convenience dust here, diamond, coal. I think the middle one is iron and redstone. Yeah. So it's a really useful tool when you get it fully upgraded. So that's why I'm going to make one pretty early on. Um, that's what I tend to do with this. Uh, my voice is dying there. So one bit of coal, right, so I only need the one piece of charcoal, so I'm just going to take that and then run. Um, I will put this copper back in here. Um, right, charcoal. So crafting bench, one charcoal on the bottom, and the rest cobblestone. So that should give us green convenience dust. And then to make the... And then to make that into the divining rod, one stick in the middle, just a normal stick, and then convenience dust all around the outside. And here you go, divining rod. Right, so I'll test that out here. There you go. Uh, so divining rod suggests a value of around 1.0. So that's basically saying, as I said earlier, that the stone is only one EMC, so it'll register that one EMC is the highest value. 
it will just tell you the highest value. So if you find, um, what was it? Say there's a block of wool sitting somewhere, let's say 48. So say if that block there is a wool, let's say 48. I'm pretty sure wood. Oh, wood's two. I don't know. Or is it? I, I, what? I, I don't even know. Well, that wood's 32. So I would imagine it would be um, a quarter of that. Because EMC is very balanced most of the time. Um, most of the things that you you find that you craft, it's actually done very fair. Like so, that's thirty-two. So what's a quarter of thirty-two? Oh wait, no, that's that's an odd number. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Dirt's still one. Yeah, there's all these basic stuff with one. Gravel's four for some reason. Marble is one. Um, I'm pretty sure we saw some marble last episode. Marble is just is quite literally just a natural spawning material in the uh, in cave systems and probably shouldn't be going out at night time but I have food not much food but I have food so that should be uh, I've got to cook fish when I need it um, I'm just gonna head off into which which direction shall I go? here oh yeah I've said oh actually yeah, yeah that's a good thing I'll show you a bit about his raised mini map um, on the top right my little mini map there um, I've set it up so when I press Y it comes up large, but it doesn't do that by default. So if you press the full stop button, it comes into the raised minimap uh, main interface type thingy. So here yeah, I have death point. I'm actually going to turn that on. So basically death point, when, when you, uh, or well, if you die, or slash when you die, um, a little waypoint will show up where you die. So it's much easier to get back to where you were uh, and find where your items were dropped. So uh, again, it's a bit sort of cheaty, but uh, I don't know, I like it. It's, it's kind of helpful. Um, and then let's see what else we've got. Right, I'm going to waypoint. So I'm going to add a waypoint to show you what they are. And I'm going to name this one home because obviously we're home. And then you can like change the color with the, the scalings. I um, don't know what color I'm going to make it. I'll make it blue because I like blue. There you go. Right, so then it shows you current coordinates. I'm pretty sure you can change these as well yeah you can so if you type in like one six eight oh you might want to delete that first so you can change it one six eight that was on one seven eight so i'm going to keep it there um and then okay right and then it just shows up there you can turn it off here as well so it, it's hidden um which is kind of handy when you're just running around because otherwise there'll be this big bit of text in front of your face as you just saw let's go full stop again waypoints there you go look it's just sort of this big bit of text in front of your face sometimes. But as I'm going away, I'm going to keep that on. And I'm going to go, I think, over this way. No. No, I came from that way, didn't I, originally. I'm going to go this direction. Um, as I said, I did do a bit of exploring, and I saw some cool things over either side. And I'm pretty sure I saw a volcano over this way. Uh, I don't have any arrows. That's pretty pointless. Um, I think this is an iron sword, isn't it? Yeah, I've got an extra iron sword on me just just to be safe. So cause this one's kind of low. Um, but I do have a lot of junk on me actually. Gonna... Right. So as I say, I'm pretty sure there's a few volcanoes around the area, which are kind of cool. And I want some basalt because they're kind of a, a nice building material. Um, that's pretty much all they're good for, really. Uh, how long do we get up here? I'm just gonna dig my way up. Screw it. Parkour has failed me. Uh, it generally just did. Oh, this is the tall grass I was talking about earlier. And you just did it and you get seeds. But I was unlucky. Um, so, dig, diggy, diggy. As a, or as someone would say, diggy, diggy hole. Some sheep. Um, oh, I hear a spider. Oh, there it is. No, 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 no. Just stupid skelly man. Skelly bud. No skelly bud. Right, there you go. There's, there's a volcano. Um, oh, why didn't I just sleep before I came? I'm an idiot. Um, there's Enderman and freaking mobs everywhere. Ah, uh, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Why did you make creepers? Oh, there's another one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Right. Skelly bird. Help me kill this guy. Help me kill this guy. Oh, god, no. No, Skelly bird. Ah! <laughs> Ah, well, that's a good point to show off death points. Um, there you go, look, death point over there. I'm terrible at this game, no. <laughs> All these years of Minecraft, still so bad. Ah. 
Right, death point. There you go. Um, so I'm now naked. No items. I feel like a noob. Um, right. Death point. One, three, one. So it shows you the, the amount of blocks. Because obviously in Minecraft... Um, no spider! Run. Run. <laughs> obviously in Minecraft each block is a, a meter squared. Or a meter cubed, sorry. Um, so it shows you the exact amount of meters away you are. Which is basically just the amount of blocks you are away. Um, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I'm f getting a feeling I'm going to be shot when, as soon as I get to the top of this thing and I'm going to fall off just because Minecraft hates me uh, I don't play you enough, stop hating me no, right oh god, no, no, no skitty bat, no skitty bat oh god that hurt, no creeper um, right, keep running I really should have just slept, I'm an idiot I'm so bad at this right, um, <laughs> okay no Okay, no. Uh, where's my sword? It's the wrong iron sword, but I'll take it anyway. Um. Ah, oh, the elite skills. See, one on one, one on one, I'm good. I, no, not when there's five mobs chasing me. I'm terrible. As long as they're so, uh, if it's like just a bunch of zombies, that'd be easy. But, go away, cow. Go away, cow. <laughs> Frick, cow. God damn it. God damn it, I need food. I can still hear skeletons and stuff. I'm just gonna kill a few of these because I don't, don't feel safe. Don't feel safe. Not after just what happened. Wait, what? Not after what just happened. That's, that's, that's what I was looking for. Yes, right, die. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure I saw some. Yeah, here you go. There's, there's one. I saw some like cool little cave entrances around near the uh, volcano. Um, I was so tempted to just go home and sleep. Oh god, no. No, 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 don't jump on me, bitch. Please. This is my place. Right, um... I don't have... Oh, I don't have any torches either. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I think I do still have coal on me, though. No. Oh, it didn't blow basalt. Okay. That's something to note, then. Basalt is, uh, explosion-proof. I completely forgot about that. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've done something to my graphic options. <laughs> For him to say fire. Um, what does it say? Let's see... Fire text here? Or fire text? Oh, fire texture. Okay. In other words, my fire texture probably isn't working. I'll try and figure that out later. Um, but yeah, I think um, we're going to leave it for here. And then next episode, we're going to go hunting in this volcano. Um, I'll, I'll make some torches. Because I do have some coal on me. Um, but yeah. So I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.